spend my life. <laughs> Piner, the entire. What? Uh, the girl on the train, I can't even remember her name. That's how irrelevant she was to me. Her name is Rachel. Can you tell I'm like super hyper today? I just have so much energy. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Jay and today I am here with the I Never Book Tag. It was originally created by Lizzie Faye Loves Books. I wasn't actually tagged by anybody, but you know your girl loves her tag videos, so here I am again. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. There's a total of 10 questions, so without further ado, let us get started. Wow. The first question is, I never read that. Name a book that you have never read but everybody else has. And I am going with This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. Everybody and their mother has read this. I have multiple books that I could say for this question because I don't read popular books. Because your girl cheap and doesn't like buying them, so unless I find them in the thrift store, I don't... I don't read them. Everybody's read this book and I need to. And I know I need to and eventually I will, okay? Don't pressure me. Please pressure me because I actually need that in my life because I don't do the things I say I'm going to ever. Question number two is I never read anything this awesome and you need to name your favorite book. And my favorite book as of right now is Night Film by Marcia Passell. I love it so much. I think it's so good. I had so much fun reading it. I don't have my physical copy because Daniel still has it. Has he read it yet? Still no. Question number three is I never thought I'd get through it. You need to name a book that you didn't like but you pushed through it. And uh, I have one of those books that I recently read and I just hated it completely. But you know I was like we're gonna push through because I can't DNF a book. Even though you know it was one of my resolutions still have not been able to do it. It is a Kiss Me Kill Me by Lauren Henderson. Yeah, this book was not good. I gave it a 1 out of 5 stars. It's just full of so many tropes and so much like slut shaming and body shaming and like LGBTQ shaming and I just know. Number 4 is I will never finish that and you have to name a book series that you will never finish or don't plan to. And I am going to say The Maze Runner by James Dashner. I got halfway through this book and just lost interest in it. And so I feel like I'm never going to go out and get the next books. I saw the movie. I saw the Scorch Trials movie and it was just, it was a no. So I feel like I'm never going to do it. So this is my answer. Number five is I will never regret reading that. And you need to name a book based off of a recommendation that you read and really enjoy. I'm going to say the entire Lunar Chronicles series. I loved it. I didn't think I was going to like it because I don't normally read sci-fi. But like, oh, probably my favorite series of all times. So good. I love it. If you haven't read it, which you obviously have because everybody has read this series, then read it right now. Thank you. Six is I would never do that and you need to name a book character that made some choices that you would never do in your life. I'm gonna say Rachel from The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. She's like an alcoholic and I just... I don't do that. I barely drink. If I do drink, it's like I'll have a shot and then I'm like, I'm good, peace out. I just don't like it. So that would be my answer, little alcoholic Rachel. Seven is I never wanted to admit it and you have to name a book that you were embarrassed to carry around with you or say that you read. And I'm going to say Fifty Shades of Grey by E.L. James. Because everybody knows what this is about and so... Like, I read these when I was, like, 15, so, like, carrying it around when you're 15 is a lot different than carrying it around when you're 21 and people know what it's about. You know what I'm saying? Number eight is I never read anything so heartwarming and you need to name a book that made your heart feel nice. You know what I'm saying? And that's actually not how the question is worded, but we're going to go with it. And my book is Speak by Lori Hulse Anderson. I've mentioned this in so many of my videos. It's so underrated. I think people need to read it because of the message. It's so beautiful. So if you haven't read it, please read it because everybody should. Number nine is I Never Laugh So Hard and you need to name a book that you laughed out loud to. And I am going to say Thug, The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. I love stars. She's so funny. The things that come out of her mouth just I love her and I think that she would be so fun to hang out with. And also like this book is so important. Everybody should read it. I'm so excited for you guys to get the chance to read it when it comes out in February. It's just it's a great book. And finally 10 is I never would have gotten through childhood without it and you have to name one of your favorite books as a child. I have two that really stand out to me anytime I think of my childhood. So the first one is the Pixie Tricks series. I actually don't know who this is by. It's by Tracy West. I remember reading this series with my mom when I was younger and I just 
they're so cute. I honestly don't know if they still make these books. But it was really fun because you could like write in the back and there were stickers in all the books and it was just so much fun to read with your parents. And it's all about fairies and you know, your girl like her fairies, so there you go. And then my second books from my childhood that like I adore so much. I've mentioned it on my channel multiple times, but it is Naughty Goes to Toyland, this whole series. I'm not gonna say the author because I can never say it right and everybody makes fun of me, so it's not happening today, guys. But I read these also with my mom, and we have the like entire series, and there's like 50 books, man. Like, there's a lot of them. But I just remember every night asking my mom to read me one of these, and I just, they're so cute. They're just such nice little books, and I actually don't know if they're printed anymore either, but. If they are, y'all should read Naughty because he's a boss. Alright guys, so that was the I Never Book Tag. I tag everybody, so there you go. Tag your it, do it, and leave your video down below so I can actually watch it. Because I tag people, and then I never see their videos, and I don't know if it's because you're just not filming it, and just ignoring my tag, or if you, like, just, I don't see it. So, if you make a video for this, then leave it down below so I can actually watch it. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!